Hey guys, this is me, Chris here, and I'll be doing a little tutorial for um, Java, how to create a little J-frame for something. Um, we'll be using JCreator. If you don't know what JCreator is, then you can download it. But um, we're going to be using that since it has the debug ready in it, so we don't have to create a debug. So um, I have JCreator, JCreator Pro, so I'm going to launch that. Hopefully it won't take up that long. Because I'm working on a game right now, my very own game with Java. I can quickly open it up. Uh, whatever, I'll show you after the video. But um, yeah, you want to open up JCreator since it's much easier since it already has a built-in um debugger, and we'll create a new project. We'll call this one JFrame. Hit build and press finish, and then you're gonna get this. Delete all this stuff. You don't need it. Um, we're only gonna need to import one thing, which is the Java X Swing dot j frame so we're gonna type in that in java x swing and drape j frame and, we'll end that one. Sorry. and then we're gonna create a class so we'll do class show we'll do we'll do class um show a frame and that sounds good because all this is all it's gonna do is show frame so we can probably even uh keep setting up all these things Alright, so we got that now, so we're going to start, let's start it. Um, we're going to have to write a main command, because without the main command, you don't need to debug it. Also, we'll do a public static void main string, not like string, ar, yes. Open this up. And now here's where we're going to start doing it. We're going to do jframe. And, and this is the this is what we're gonna set it so if J frame is gonna equal to my frame. So whatever we write my frame, it's gonna equal to new J frame. So all we have to do now is this makes it easier because it if we want to like set a title, we don't have to do you know J frame all that stuff. All I have to do is my frame. But um for the title, we're gonna do string my title equals blank frame and that's it oh yeah also you have to close off this one too so you got this right now everything looks to be fine and all we get to do is build it so um like I said we did this so now we have to do um set up J frame my J frame I can't spell J frame Oh, I just pulled it wrong. My J frame dot set title. And we're gonna do let's say um uh J frame and this one and we do my J frame dot set size. We'll just do two hundred by two hundred. That's done, and then we're gonna set set that it will be able to close. And by doing that, we have to do my this was kind of long my frame dot set default close operation and j frame dot exit put put caps on exit then on and close on. Um, and close, and that's it. And then we can end that one off. So we're almost done here. All we have to do is set one more off. So you can take off caps. My, so I keep forgetting to do the J. My J frame dot set visible. This is very important because if you just hit the visible to false, did I spell it right? Oh no, visible. I spell visible. And true. And we'll end that one off. And that's it. So, um, we set up by all doing J frame because my J frame equals new J frame. We have this one set and we have this one set. So, we have the main. So, let's see if it works. Hopefully, we won't get any errors.
process is complete. That's pretty good. There we go. We got a J frame. The title of it is set to visible to true. So we can also change it. We can also change the width. Let's say 500 by 500. And we'll name this one. Actually, for tweet universe. And we'll do it. I'm gonna build it. You have to always remember to build it and run. Process completed. And we got a 500 by 500 GA frame for Tweak Universe. And there you go. Um, I'll make, probably make another tutorial how to add stuff in it. But yeah, that's how I make a J frame and J creator. I'll probably have the download link for J creator in there. So please subscribe and hope you like my videos.